Bitcoin multiple time frame analysis. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. Today's video, guys, I'll share with you how I'm looking to trade Bitcoin and share with you a trading strategy that I've been using for a while. And not a lot of people use that. They get bugged down into the hourly time frame, the five minute time frame. They're not being able to zoom out and trade the higher time frames so in this video i'll share with you exactly how i'm looking to trade the higher time frame and this is not after the fact guys i've been talking about it for a while and i'll share with you the charts how exactly i'm trading using the strategy that i teach you guys so let's have a look at bitcoin guys so what has bitcoin done bitcoin had a breakout start of the year and since then guys it is up quite a lot uh, bitcoin initially double bottomed here and then the price has gone up about 30 40 percent so it's a huge move up and this move is better than just a huge spike up when it went up 40 percent with the china news we want to see move sustained move so this is better for bitcoin so it is looking good but however we are at some daily resistance so the daily 200 moving average this is a huge uh, uh, bitcoin resistance it's worked few times as you can see here 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 and before that it was support when bitcoin was uh, making the big big moves up so i definitely keep an eye out for the daily uh, 200 moving average it's a key part of any chart analysis that you've got if you have been following me guys you know that i pay a lot of attention to that and this works out really well for any other currency that i trade or whether it's forex or crypto 200 moving average is a key uh, technical technical analysis that you need to keep it in your arsenal also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button on my channel guys i actually share with you trading strategies that you can employ i don't just talk about things going to the moon i do some fundamental analysis on cryptocurrencies as well i recommend you go watch this video where i talk about in detail of the top 10 coins and more of an investing strategy if you're looking to invest rather than trade also recently guys due to request i've been posting a lot more about uh, forex and and other markets and last week i talked about a gold trade that worked out really well if you guys took that trade that worked out really well um so let me know if you guys are interested in more of that I'm sharing with you on if make sure you follow my facebook page as well uh, if you're interested comment below I'll, I'll make videos on forex and crypto trading exactly where i'm looking to take shorts and if you want to get this update uh, check out the rockstar trading facebook page uh, to find out how i'm looking to trade forex and other markets as well because i do i make most of my money in forex markets i love crypto and i've got a passion for it but that is my main income um, and i do a live crypto uh, live trading session every every sunday evening so i'll leave the link below as well and make sure you turn on the notification button um so you get notified if you turn on the notification button you get notified tomorrow i go live sunday 6 p.m uk time enough of that let's get back into the multiple time frame analysis so bitcoin was at this resistance and we saw this huge red candle and when we see that guys it is not great I think I took a loss here as well because I took a trade here. I didn't exit because I didn't have much chance. Um, and then I took um, took another long here using my pullback strategy. It had a bit of a move up. I took some off here about 1-2% profit. And then I got stopped out. So that was a loss. But you have to keep on taking these trades because if you took any of these trades, uh, any of these pullbacks, you would have been up massively. So as a trader, you win some, you lose some. It's about winning more than you lose. And that was a good trade strategy for me. So what trading strategy did I share with you guys? Uh, my plan was a break of this range again it was beforehand i posted it's not an after the fact so a break of this range and i will look to take a short so that's exactly what i did i think i took a short here initially uh, and then when it broke below i added to my shorts and on hindsight i'm not sure if it was the best strategy or not but it was part of my strategy so i did take those shorts one of the shorts was in the hourly time frame here i took half off and then i added to my shorts on the four hourly so four hourly had a pullback to the 20 moving average you can see exactly so this is the importance of multiple time frame analysis on the hourly it finds resistance then you zoom out when it breaks above it finds and the four hourly it finds resistance so we had two winning trades using the strategy exact strategy that i teach and now i'm still in my short but i'm a bit worried because we on the daily time frame we are at 
daily 20 moving average support so should i have taken those shorts i'm not sure usually when when the higher time frame is not in my uh, my favor because if daily weekly uh, hourly all pointing in the same direction i hold my trades longer but if these trades that took quick profits i think i took one percent off here i think i got two percent there but I'm still half a position uh, in a Bitcoin short, waiting to see what happens to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin can break below it, this is a high risk reward trade. So this is exactly how I'm explaining. And I can show you where my stop was as well. So I trade exactly where I'm entering and exiting. My stop was at 8,700. But if it breaked, broke above 8,500 and showed strength, I'd look to have closed it. So what did Bitcoin do? My stop was about 8,700, uh, just above here. But if it broke above 8,500 and showed strength, I would have closed here. There's no point waiting to get stopped out. You stop out, take your losses quick and run your profits. That's how you make money. So you can see exactly where it found resistance at the 8,500 and dropped nicely. So I'm really happy. So what am I looking for now? Um, if it breaks below here guys I've got a great entry and it will be really profitable but if it finds support if it spikes below moves up then I'll probably close that break even or if it breaks above the 8700 level then it will be really bad and um, I will be probably looking to add my trading strategy was sort of to add around these levels so this is not a bad time if it breaks above to change your bias from short to long um, as a trader you need to be uh, uh, very careful with where you go long and where you go short but if it breaks below I am covered so that is my trading strategy guys another thing that I'll say uh, um, for my long-term bias in Bitcoin is as long as Bitcoin is above this level 7000 uh, about the 50% to 618 level 7500 to 7700 I'm gonna be bullish on Bitcoin and I'll look to buy around these levels guys to see if we can take a move up and then that is sort of my strategy now for a swing trade if Bitcoin drops to here I'll take it long but if Bitcoin closes below here on the daily guys I think Bitcoin can go a lot lower so I would not like Bitcoin to close below 700 because you can see this was resistance resistance it found support and then it rallied higher so if it closes below this red zone guys I think Bitcoin could be going lower so that is my uh, the way of trading uh, but if you're taking for a quick long um, you could take it quick long if it you know fight if it breaks below and gets above here you could take a quick long or you could take a quick long you know at this moving average around this sort of re uh, red zone the 50% Fibonacci so I'll probably look to take a long around the 7800 to 7600 level that is my full analysis on Bitcoin I kept it very simple um, I know I got into detail on this higher time frame analysis and multiple time frame analysis. If you're new, you can just use my strategy that I teach uh, to buy pullbacks and you'll win you'll win more than you lose this is a proven strategy that works in any markets i've been trading all the markets but if you combine four hour daily weekly that's when you become a better trader you win a lot more your win rate would be a lot more but it takes years you know i've been doing this for six years now it takes a long time to get to that level but if with hard work and the community that we've got here uh, the support you've got with this channel and then and the content that you've got i'm sure you can get there but it will take a lot of time so thank you very much guys for watching and um, if you have enjoyed it guys comment below your thoughts on this strategy do you think bitcoin could take a move up here or do you think bitcoin will break down i'm head short so see if it breaks down and if it breaks above i'll take to look to change my strategy and take longs if it breaks above this red zone like i have said so thank you very much for watching and this is my trading strategy by the way guys i'm i'm an investor in bitcoin as well that's why I talked about that video where I huddle some Bitcoin that I'll never sell. I've talked about this quite a lot. Um, I've, I've got some Bitcoin in cold storage that I'll never sell. I, I think Bitcoin's got huge potentials going forward, um, especially if the stock market could be breaking down, which is what, I, again, I'm not predicting it. It's just a setup that I'm looking at. It had a big move down. I'm looking for a pullback to go short with the current news that's going on. I know people ask me to do a bit of a Forex video or traditional market video oil uh, oil is my favorite market that i trade the most and as soon as i've opened the chart you can see a perfect short setup uh, using my trading strategy so oil is one of my favorite uh, coin uh, favorite coins favorite markets to trade but i do trade other markets and and um 
the US stock market had a big down day so I'm looking for a for a pullback to probably enter a short it is a very risky short because uh, stocks have been on a tear up it's been bull for a long time and as you can see it's gone up huge it's not been going down so it's a very risky short but if you're <laughs> if you want to take it that will be a setup i'll be looking for next week to go short and with the virus as well coronavirus previously the stock market had crashed i can't um, remember what the disease was that disease caused about 15 or 16 percent drop in the stock market so this virus you know in china some cities are in lockdown and then um, it will affect the chinese markets and you know China so big it can have an effect on all the markets so that is a level that I would be looking to take a short we'll see how that works and and gold trade has worked really well this is a trade strategy I shared last week uh, on my Facebook a, a Facebook page and you know this has worked out really really well anyways guys thank you for watching if you're interested in more of this content let me know uh, maybe I'll create another YouTube channel or I'll just post it here you know once a week or twice a week I'll share with you my strategies on how I trade other markets because uh, there are lots of other opportunities you know when bitcoin is going sideways or if bitcoin breaks down there's other markets you can trade stocks have been going crazy apple has gone up let's have a look how much apple's gone up and while you're waiting for bitcoin to go up apple uh where's apple apple has gone up crazy you could have made so much money in apple you know apple is up 80 percent so here you can see there's a lots of opportunities even st from start of this year it's up about 17 percent so there's lots of opportunities in other market tesla's another one so a lot of these stocks have, i mean tesla's literally gone parabolic from start of the year this looks like a bitcoin chart doesn't it gone 50 percent so uh, i didn't really trade tesla i've traded apple more but you can see there's so much opportunities available in the markets when um when tesla broke out of here this was a huge opportunity it's gone up 50 percent since the since the breakout so there's lots of other opportunities that's why i say you know you can look to trade other markets and, and i will be sharing a lot more strategies on how to trade other markets and if you're interested guys i'll leave the link below if you want to join the group i'm creating more websites and a new trading platform so i'll share with you guys uh, make sure you subscribe i'll share with you guys how i'm looking to trade though so anyways thank you very much i try to uh, sometimes start rambling with trading i love trading so much uh, so I, I can ramble on anyways thank you very much for watching this video guys see you guys tomorrow on the sunday live stream and if you have any requests you can join the group the free facebook group and request any coins that you want uh, or any questions that you may have about trading or leave leave any comments below and I'll answer it tomorrow. And make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you're notified when I'm going live. So anyways, thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment below your thoughts on Bitcoin, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.